Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. And today we're going to show you how to build something. In fact, uh, we had a person send us in some sketches and ask us to build a smoker. And uh, I want to invite you to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to show you how to build a smoker and it's going to be step by step. So it's going to take several segments to do this. But if you have a home project and you want us to build, Go ahead and send it in to us and let us take a look at it and uh, we'll decide whether, when and where we can work it in. But I uh, want to get started by just describing a smoker is something that just about everybody uses or wants. Uh, and this smoker, we're going to make it out of steel. Now, you can make it out of stainless steel, you can make it out of several different types of materials, but we elected steel and it's one eighth inch thick material. So when we get into the one eighth inch thick, NAD gives you an option. Do you want to weld it? with the TIG process or the MIG process. So we're probably going to show you both in this program. Now I'm going to use TIG anytime I have something that I want to weld up that looks very, very nice. Uh, if I have to get inside do some fillet welds, I'm probably going to use the MIG process. So want to get started and let you know that uh, I've got several pages here. So uh, we're going to share this with you. Uh, the fact is we have a cutting list and you can save some money by, by buying a large piece of metal and cutting all the pieces out yourself. But we elected to give the cutting list to a steel company and they just they hacked it and sheared it in just no time at all. And so we have these pieces. They're in rough form, but we're still gonna have to do a little bit of uh, plasma cutting. But it didn't take long for them to get us the material. So one eighth, one eighth inch thick steel. And I want you to take a look at the very first piece that we're gonna do. And this one is the, the front, uh, you know, the smoker. This is basically the size and shape of the smoker. Now, eventually, we're going to come in here, in this area, we're going to cut a hole and we're going to make a door. Uh, but first, we're going, to, uh, we're going to outline what the legs are going to look like. So this smoker will sit up off the ground. It's only going to have a, a, a space of about three or four inches. Take a look at the dimensions. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this up and we're going to plasma cut it out. And I'm going to use some guides, uh, clamp-on type guides. It's going to be very easy. You need a plasma cutter. You can use other methods, but the plasma cutter is very quick. You're not going to need a lot of tools, a few clamps, straight edge, and you know a, a measuring device of some sort. And, and that's about it. Now we're going to have to we're going to have to do a little polishing and grinding. Uh, so I'm going to do the plasma cut, and I'm going to show you how to do that first. And then this first piece is going to become a guide. So I've got to do four sides, or I should say four total pieces. They're going to be identical. So uh, let me get my gear on, uh, put the guides in place. I'm going to show you how to plasma cut this. And uh, we're just going to go through and build it step by step. So uh, stick with me.
Okay, you probably notice I've, I've got safety gear on. I'm using a uh, safety glass that's got a shade in it. It's about a shade four. And so for plasma cutting, I'm, I'm set at right around 30 amps. Uh, I probably could cut this at, at 20 amps, so I'm, I'm overpowering it. Uh, now, the more you overpower it, the more slag you're gonna get. Your cut's not gonna be quite as clean, but it still did a pretty good job. Now, I put a guide on here. Now, the reason for this guide is I wanna get some uh, longevity out of my tips, and that's a consumable that'll wear out. And uh, you, you, know, you find yourself actually making very precise cuts by actually cutting and dragging. And really, you shouldn't be dragging it. It will work, and it'll, just, it'll wear out your tips a little quicker. So put this guide on, and it'll, it'll allow you to, to set up and run pretty smooth. Now, you probably noticed that I made three cuts here, uh, pretty clean. Uh, I've got a piece still, still hanging here, and uh, it just had a little bit of slag, so I uh, got it removed. Now, what I've got now is a little bit of slag on here. It's nothing like oxyacetylene cutting. So I'm gonna take this piece, this one piece, this is the front piece, and I'm gonna go ahead and grind it, just polish off all that slag. This now becomes my template. So I'm gonna now use this template and I'm gonna mark three more sides and I'm gonna cut three more sides identical. Okay, now that we've got the first section cut out, plasma cut, it's our template. Yeah, so we have three more sides that we have to cut out and they're absolutely identical. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna to attempt to, to put three ply together and make a mark using this template and try to plasma cut through all of them. Now we can do that because we have a 40 amp plasma cutter. Uh, if you have something less in amperage, 20 or 25 amp, uh, you probably won't be able to punch through. So you're, you may have to do them one at a time. So uh, one of the important things in, in marking this and cutting it is that as soon as I uh, put my guide up there, my plasma cutting guide, I need to squeeze the three materials together so there's no air in between, just so I can get a good clean cut. So I've, I've gone ahead and I've marked this out. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up and uh, I'm gonna cut all three at one time. So uh, let me get my gear on. Okay, uh, I made my first cut. I started on an edge, and it's better to start on an edge just so you can kick out the material, create the cut, and I got to here and I stopped. Now, you can do this several different ways, but I'll tell you what I like to do is I like to reset up, and I've already got the, uh, the kerf cut in there, and I just continue over to here, stop, reset up, and then I'll finish out over here. Now, the reason I go in that route, and you go left to right or right to left, it doesn't matter, but if you try to start right on a plate, what's gonna happen is it's gonna try to dig out. Eventually, you'll, you'll bore a hole in there, but it's gonna be pretty ugly right here in this corner, so I'm just making it easy on myself.
Okay, I've made the entire plasma cut here, but during the process, especially here on the straightaway, I got to going just a little bit too fast. And so I had to stop, slow down, back up, and, and start recutting. And the way you can tell whether you're punching through or not is if the spatter starts coming out the top. You'll see a few more sparks than normal. Uh, so then you just slow down, get your uh, speed down to a nice, uh, slow speed and, and take off again. So I looked underneath and I could see that I've got a real small area that I didn't cut. So I've got a choice. I can go back and I can recut it or I can uh, thump it here and see if, if it's enough. If, if it's not enough with this, this hammer, then I will go back and recut it. So uh, let me give it a shot. Nope, I think we're good. So uh, I'm going to take these three plates uh, that were sandwiched together, I'll take them to the other end of the shop and uh, grind them, get rid of the slag, get rid of the burrs, and uh, I'll, I'll join you back here in a few minutes. Ready? Okay, now that I have the, uh, the two sides and the back all tacked up, uh, fairly square and I'm using magnets, you can use pipe clamps or anything else that you want. Now I'm going to put the, the front face on, uh, do the same thing. I've got about four tacks uh, per, per joint. So uh, I'm going to put this front face on, put four tacks on, and then we'll have it in the as tacked condition. Then we'll do some measuring and see where we stand. Okay, well, this is the main body of the smoker. and We've tacked it up in, in four places, all four corners. And we're going to conclude this episode uh, with just this portion of it. Now, stay tuned for part two, because what we're going to do is we're going to weld this up, and we're going to get into some more plasma cutting, and we're going to design and build a front door. So uh, thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.